On behalf of the German federal government, I would like to make a statement at the end of my visit to Skopje. Um, I had meetings with Deputy Prime Minister Besimi, Foreign Minister Poposki, DUI leader Ali Ahmeti and opposition leader Zoran Zaev. In these times, as your country experiences a worrisome political crisis, my visit today serves to underline that Germany deeply cares about your future. Uh, Germany reaffirms its commitment to support your country on its way towards NATO and the European Union. We are deeply concerned by the recent events in Kumanovo, by the violence that has occurred there. Our heartfelt sympathy goes to the families of the victims. We hope that this incident will not spark tensions in inter-ethnic relations. Uh, we are heartened to see that citizens of Komarovo of all ethnic backgrounds came together uh, after the incident. The clear and unambiguous statements from neighboring countries were encouraging as well, denouncing all any attempts to destabilize the situation. I have appealed to my interlocutors to exercise particular caution so as not to put additional strain on inter-ethnic relations. The recent resignations of government ministers and the director of security can be important first steps to begin restoring public trust and to un address the underlying more fundamental problems which have become apparent. For this to become possible, however, further measures must be taken. In my talks with the political leaders, I reiterated that the government must account in a concrete and substantial manner for the many allegations of serious government wrongdoing that arise from the disclosures. We also expect independent and credible judicial investigations into the allegations that have been brought forward, including allegations of corruptive practices, undue government influence on the judiciary, and on the integrity of the electoral process. I have also reiterated to my interlocutors the appeal to initiate concrete measures addressing the lack of institutional and media independence highlighted in the disclosures. In view of events announced for Sunday and Monday, Germany fully supports the fundamental democratic right of citizens to peacefully protest and we reiterate our call to all sides to refrain from violence. Finding a path out of this serious crisis will require that government and opposition show responsibility and share responsibility. For this reason, we very much welcome and support yesterday's meeting of four party leaders uh, in the presence of the EU and the United States. It is our sincere hope that this format will lead to arrangements that restore trust in your country's institutions and democratic processes. But it will take all stakeholders, including the judiciary, the media, and all constituent parts of society, to put your country back on track towards a truly democratic and free future within the Euro-Atlantic family of nations. Together with our partners in the European Union and with the United States, we have been offering our support and we will continue to do so. I have encouraged my interlocutors to engage more actively and substantially in the mediation process led by the three members of the European Parliament. As a true friend, Germany hopes that all stakeholders will actively show their commitment to European standards of rule of law, transparency and fairness. These are the core values of democracy and political culture that your country has committed itself to as a country striving for membership in the European Union and in NATO. 